Hello, my name is Jim Ward, and I'm a certified SOLIDWORKS PDM Technical Support Specialist with Go Engineer. In this video, I will be discussing using Pack and Go to import files into PDM and then using the PDM Update References tool to fix the references of the imported assembly. In this video, I will be using Pack and Go to import an assembly into PDM. Then I will check in those files to discover which files are duplicates. Once I discover the duplicate files, I will delete them. And then finally, I will use update references to change the references of the imported assembly to files that are inside of the same vault. OK, so the first step is to use pack and go to import an assembly into PDM. And I do have a relatively simple assembly here that I can use to do that. So I will start by selecting the drawing because the drawing references the assembly and then the assembly references everything else. So let's go down to SOLIDWORKS, choose pack and go. It gives a listing of all of the files that it will, um, will copy to the new location. Now, something I'm going to do for now, just for demonstration purposes, I'm going to leave one piece behind. I'm going to uncheck the handle. Anything that is unchecked will not be copied. So if you know that some of these files are duplicates, it helps you to uncheck them here. And then that way, in the new location, you don't have to just um, delete it. Let's uh, choose the place that, that we want to copy it to. So I will select Browse. I want to put it into the standard vault because I want to uh, make sure that you're aware that we can use this method in PDM standard as well as professional. Now notice I do have a, a folder specifically for importing files. It helps if you do your pack and go into a single folder uh, while you uh, run through the import process. So I will choose that folder, select folder. It all goes into the import. Um, notice that the save to folder now all has updated to the, the, the same folder import. And I'll just choose save and that will copy everything over into that folder. Now let's go take a look. Here's the Acme standard folder. Let's go into the import folder. And here's all these files that um, were, have now been imported into PDM. Uh, when Pack and Go does this, it does also update the references of any um, file that it copied to point to the new location. So that is helpful when you're um, putting files into a new location. Now, uh, these files are all currently checked out to, to me. Um, I'm currently logged in as the admin. Now, the first step is to check in the files. And the reason we do this is because we're looking for files that um, have a duplicate file name of other files that are already in the file vault. Now, in my case, if it's a duplicate file, I know that um, I don't want to keep the file that I just copied over. I want to just delete it. So I've selected all these files. I'm now going to check them in. And notice that in the check-in dialog, it tells me which files are not unique. And by the way, the, the file vault does have to be set so that um, duplicate file names are not allowed. So I'm not going to, to try and resolve these now. I already know that um, I'm going to delete these files that are not unique. Uh, in your case, you may want to stop and look at them individually and decide which ones you want to keep. But in my case, I've already decided that. So I will just check them in and notice the ones that did not check in. See, they're still checked out by me. Also here on, on the state column, there's nothing in the state column. So that's an indication that they have never been checked in. So now let me sort by checked out by, and that brings all the ones that are still checked out to me uh, to the top. And those are the ones that I know are duplicate files. So let's um, choose all, all of these duplicate files and uh, delete them. does give me a warning, tells me where they're being used, but that's okay. I want them gone. All right. So now that I have removed the duplicate files, now I need to update the references of the assembly 
so that it only references files inside of the PDM file vault. Now both PDM Standard and PDM Professional do have a nice tool for that. It's called Update References. Now, in order for update references to actually update the references in a, in a component, it does need to be checked out. Now, notice in this case, if I choose the drawer and choose update references, it will automatically here, let me move this down. You can see over here, it automatically checked out the file that I had selected. Now, that's great if you only have one assembly, but if you have multiple assemblies, then you may want to check out multiple components as well. Matter of fact, you may find it easier just to check them all back out again. You can do that by going up to the, and select the entire folder and choose check out. That way, if any um, files um, like parts are referencing other components, then you can update those references at the same time. Notice they're now all checked out to me. So again, I'm going to select the drawer and go to tools, and update references. And it will tell me the ones where it says file not found. Any of those are because they, these files have, were duplicates. And then there's one that's outside SOLIDWORKS PDM. So that's nice. Um, that tells me what, uh, what the problems are or where they are. But this tool is actually much more handy than that. So the first thing that I want to do is I want to search for any files that have the same file name inside of the PDM vault. Notice I can tell it where to search. It's best if you just search in the entire vault. And I'm only search for files that have a warning. And I do want to search all subfolders. So I'll choose next. It's going through and it did the search and it did find three files. That's great. I'll choose finish. So it now it has updated the reference to the location inside of the file vault. Now notice this one down here, it still knows about the old location, but it's outside of SOLIDWORKS PDM. So if I like, I can come up here with this one, say add files to vault. Very, this is a very nice feature in that if you know where it is, just click on this, you tell it where do you want to bring it into PDM. In this case, I'm just going to bring it into the same folder with the rest of the files. And I'll choose Next and Finish. And it takes that file and copies that file into the PDM vault. This last one here, File Not Found. Now I can do a search to replace that file with another file of, the, of a different name if I like. Now, in this case, uh, this is a toolbox component, and I have my toolbox actually in a different vault. And so I'm going to browse to that location. And in this case, it is the same name, but I'm going to choose that till it open. But in this case, now, since it is outside of the file vault, let me see if I can take that and choose add this file to the vault. In this case, I already have a hardware folder. So I'm going to add that to the hardware folder. So that brings that into that hardware folder. So that's great. So I just choose update. And it, it updates all the references, brings in that new handle um, that I had before um, that was used to be outside of the file vault. Notice it copied it now into the file vault. So now I can do a control A if you like to select everything that's in this folder and choose check in. Check in all files. So now all the files are updated. Now to verify this, you can open up the file in SOLIDWORKS. And now to find out where it's getting those files, go over to File, Find References. And you can expand this window down. And you see that all of them are inside of Acme Standard. And uh, that's what you want. This has been uh, Jim Ward with Go Engineer demonstrating how to use Pack and Go and update references to help import files into SOLIDWORKS PDM. I hope you found this video informative. <laughs>